Good afternoon, telehealth, and how's everybody doing today? Today is April 12th, and it's the first day of Ramadan. So happy Ramadan to all my Ramadan people. So I'm going to give you the history of Ramadan, where it came from, and the backstory of why Ramadan is celebrated. Okay, so Ramadan is an Islamic holiday, and their, how should I say, their prophet was a man named Muhammad. Now, the backstory is Muhammad will go to this cage, uh, I'm sorry, cave for prayer and try to find the meaning towards life. On one special day, the angel, an angel, well, the angel Gabriel came down to him and he thought that he was losing it because when he looked up to the sky, he saw this enormous angel in front of him. And anywhere that he turned, looking to the light, he just saw the angel Gabriel in front of him. Now at this time, Muhammad did not know how to read. And the angel Gabriel took out this book and put it in front of him. And he told him to read. Mohammed said, I don't know how to read. And the angel Gabriel grabbed him and squeezed him. Squeezed him, squeezed him, squeezed him, squeezed him. That Mohammed was like, uh, uh, and let him go. The angel Gabriel again told him, read. Mohammed, now he's in fear because he felt, he knew that he didn't know how to read. And he thought that he was going to get crushed by angel Gabriel. So he told Angel Gabriel, I don't know how to read. What the Angel Gabriel did, the two hands squeezed him again, like this, like this, like this, and almost to his death. And then he dropped Mohammed. Angel Gabriel said, read. So Mohammed was thinking to himself, I'm not gonna say that I don't know how to read because I'm gonna get squished. So when he put his eyes towards the book, he was able to read. And what is that book? That book was the Quran, which is the Islamic Bible. So, what is Ramadan? That's the backstory of this. So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, observed by the Muslims worldwide as a month of fasting, prayer, reflection, and community. A commemoration of Muhammad's first revelation. The first revelation is the story that I told you. Okay, so the annual observance of Ramadan is regarded as one of the five pillars of Islam. So, for instance, like we have the Ten Commandments, they have five pillars of Islam. Well, not we as a, me as a Catholic, we have the Ten Commandments. So the Islamics, they have the five pillars. And this lasts is for 29 to 30 days from the first sighting of the crescent moon. If you ever see their flag, they have a crescent moon there. It takes 28 days for a full moon to come. So here's the practice. They fast from sunrise to sundown. And for all the, the adults that cannot, because of chronic illness, like the elderly, or if you're breastfeeding, or if you're diabetic, of anything of that, of that, if you have one of those illnesses, you, you don't have to practice it. But the ones that are 100% A-OK, -okay, you can't eat or drink from sun up to sun down. So, what they do to keep themselves moving, they have a pre-dawn meal. So they wake up uh, around five, when it's still dark, so probably like a 4.35 in the morning, to have something to eat that will last them for the whole time that the sun is up. Okay, but at the nighttime, they break their fast, and that, that when they break their fast is, referred to Suha and the nightly fast that breaks the fast is referred to Iftar. Okay, now why do they do this? 
Well, they do this um, for reflection of prayer, community, and commemoration. So, what is the spiritual reward is if you are able to fast throughout the sun up to the sundown, it believes that all good fortune will multiply and double for your life. Such as your health, you will be healthier than ever. Such as your wealth and prosperity, you this year coming around, you will gain more wealth. So this lasts for a whole month. Also, they cannot eat or drink. They cannot, if they, this really is a tough time for people that smoke cigarettes because if you're an uh, Islamic person that smokes cigarettes, you can't have a cigarette for the whole month. So very tough for those people. Also, other sinful behaviors, which is like sexual activity, you cannot have that as well. And this whole month is devote, they devote themselves to prayer and the recitation of the Quran. Okay? So, there is a couple of things that they do. So the important date is the beginning, which is today, another night that's called the Night of Destiny, and the it. So I'll tell you what the beginning and the Night of Festery, the Night of Destiny stands for. Okay, so beginning, the, they have words that are hard to pronounce, so I'll try my best. The beginning. Because of the Hilal, or the crescent moon, typically occurs approximately one day after the new moon, Muslims can usually estimate the beginning of Ramadan. However, many prefer to confirm the opening of Ramadan by direct visual observation of the crescent. So after the full moon comes, after the full moon goes into a crescent moon. So when the first day that you see the crescent moon, which is today, that's when Ramadan starts for them. Then they have a night of destiny, which it is said in their language, Leilat a Kudor. It's considered the holiest night of the year for them. It is generally believed to have occurred on an odd number night. Okay, during the last 10 days of Ramadan, the the Wood Buher believed that the Leilat Akuda was the 23rd night of Ramadan. So the night of destiny within these last days is within the last 10 days is on it falls on an odd number. And then is the it, the I, the E I D, it. The holiday of Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan and the beginning of the Shwarlur, the next lunar month, is declared after the crescent new moon has been sighted or after the completion of the 30 days of fasting. If no sighting of the moon is possible due to clouds and stuff like that, it celebrates of the return to a more natural disposition of eating, drinking, and marital intimacy. So for this whole month, what they are practicing is fasting. And some of my Islamic friends says that this brings them closer to God. They leave all the earthly lust, the human lust, such as cigarette or intimacy or foods of that nature, and they devote themselves to prayer, which is, I think, is a beautiful thing. So, with that being said, for all my Ramadan people, stay strong for these next 30 days. And for everybody else, um, you got up to Friday, to claim your gift. So, give me, shoot me a Facebook message of your raffle number. With that being said,
Stay strong on the fight of the COVID pandemic. Things are looking better each month coming forward. So we're getting better weather. And before you know it, we'll be done with this pandemic and we'll come back to the center and have a great time. Continue wearing your mask. Stay six feet apart. Wash your hands regularly and I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.